In this video I'm going to share my top accounting tips for small businesses and startups. Hi, my name is The Alchemist, and today I've got some great tips to share that are sure to be helpful, whether you own a startup or have an established small business. If you are a small business or startup, then accounting can be tricky. Accounting is not something that most people enjoy doing and it does not have to be difficult. With these 8 accounting tips, you will be able to get your books in order without stress. So let's start then. Tip number 1, Building the Separate Entity Concept This is the way of organizing your business where it operates as a separate entity from you and could be sold off in its own right. This can make it easier for someone to buy into your company or part with shares if they wanted to. It also means that when calculating profits, any losses made by one branch do not affect another so there is some room for maneuver. You should keep your business bank account separate from personal ones to ensure that you are not mixing funds and using money for the wrong purpose. For example, if you put money into your business bank account and then spend it on a holiday, that's not what the money's for. Tip number 2, Accounting and Bookkeeping Software If you're not great with numbers and don't have the time to do your own bookkeeping, then it is worth investing in some good software. There are plenty of options out there which will track all of your transactions and compile them into a usable form for you. It can take a while to get used to using the programs but once you have it down you can use them to your advantage. If a bookkeeper is too expensive, then try asking around for friends or family who are good with numbers and may be able to do this small task as a favor. You could also have someone from the office take responsibility, so long as they know how important accuracy is. Tip number 3, Accuracy of Business Records it is vital to keep accurate records from the outset of your business. It may not seem important when you're small, but as soon as things start picking up it becomes crucial to know what's going on and where money is being spent. Maintaining good books will make life easier in future for tax purposes or if you wanted to sell off your business. Keep good records of inventory, purchases and expenses to make it easier for you or someone else should take over the running of the company in future. If you're using software that is designed specifically with this purpose then all transactions will be tracked automatically and compiled into a format suitable for tax returns and other purposes so there is little work for you to do. Tip number 4, Appropriate Method of Accounting There are a variety of accounting methods which you can use to record your transactions. The most popular is double entry bookkeeping, and this requires that every transaction be noted twice in order for the balance sheet to stay accurate. Accounting software will take care of all these details automatically so there's no need for manual input from yourself or anyone. The first method of accounting is the cash basis accounting. It is a less detailed form of accounting that only records transactions when cash is exchanged. This simplifies the process and lets you get on with running your business instead of worrying about bookkeeping. Contrary to that, there is another method of accounting known as accrual basis of accounting. This method will record transactions even if payment has not been made yet, so it can be easier to see where money is going, although this does mean that you may need to carry more money. Tip number 5, Updated Book of Accounts It's important to keep your books up to date and accurate at all times. If you're using software, then this should be done automatically, but if not, it falls into your responsibility as the owner of the company. Make sure the transactions are recorded correctly so they can be used for future reference. You should also maintain your business records as well, so that you have everything to hand if anything does happen. It's better to be safe than sorry. Tip number 6, Identifying the High Cost Expenses As your business grows, you may notice that certain expenses are on the increase. For example, it is common for office rent to increase as a company becomes more successful, and this can be hard if you don't have many employees or high turnover in products. It's important to keep an eye on these outliers so you can plan your business better in future. Tip number 7, Evaluating the business performance at the end of each period. Since the business is new, it's important to know what your costs are and where your income is coming from. This will help you in future when considering expansion or a change of direction for the company. Let's talk about some of the tools of evaluating the performance of the business. The first one is the balance sheet which shows the summary of assets and liabilities as on the specified date. Similarly, there is a statement called the income statement or profit and loss account. This reflects the income and expenses of the business for the specified period. Moreover, there is a cash flow statement. This statement shows in detail the sources from which the cash that is generated for the business and the sources where the cash is spent. Tip number 8, Generate Financial Projections and Forecasts. 
It is important to be able to predict how your business will perform in future. In order for this, you need to have a good idea of what the projected expenses and income are going to be. This way you can plan ahead more effectively, even if it's just by an hour or two. If you're using software then this may already be done automatically, but if not you should try to make some predictions. These can then help you when considering changes or expansion within the company and how those will affect the balance sheet and income statement in future. Generally, the predictions in forecasting a company's financial performance for the next few years involves assessing how much revenue it expects to make and then determining the associated costs, including investment needs. So as you can see forecasts are used by many small businesses and startups when deciding on changes or expansions within the company. These were some of the accounting tips for small business and startups. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like that. Tell us in the comment section about how much you like the video and any topic that you would like to hear from us. Thank you, from The Alchemist.